Hello everyone, I'm Xantor and welcome back for more No Man's Sky. Today we're going to be exploring our 101st planet. That's right, this is planet 100 we just uh, explored last time. We're going to be moving on to planet 101. Oh man, it, it, this is good. I'm really happy that we've actually discovered our 100th planet. It shows that we're making some you know, good and steady progress. That's how I'd like to put it. But I believe there's a moon we need to go to as well. So we've got this planet and then we've also got a moon of this planet, I think. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to head to this planet first, then we're going to head off to the moon of this planet. Ah, so this planet has got Fervidium. So uh, I think we're going to go and get some Fervidium, just in case we actually need it. Because to be fair, like, it's not common. You know, I, I, this is the first time I've seen Fervidium in the, like, literal 100 planets we've been to so far. So. I'm hoping to get some of that this time. Anyway, five, four, three, two, one, and we're in the atmosphere. Let's see what we get from this planet. Let's see. Oh, we've got water on the planet. Okay, we have water confirmed. Water confirmed. So I'm assuming that, uh, is it water? No, it's an illusion. How dare they? How dare they? I thought this was water. Wow. It's just like... Some strange blue underground colour thing. Anyway, we've got abundant animals, meaning there are actual animals on the planet, which I'm, I'm fairly happy with. You know, it's not every day that uh, you get loads of animals on the planet. But let's start scanning them right away here. Because, of course, uh, the more planets we fully complete, uh, the, uh, the more money we'll be able to get. Because you get, I mean, at least over 100,000 for each planet that you discover. Which is the reason why we're doing this, the reason why we explore every planet uh, thoroughly. So we can hopefully get the uh, over 100,000 that we need to complete the planet. But of course, sometimes you do get the weird, dumb, glitched out planets. Um, which, you know, they, they don't like me sometimes. I'll, I'll put it that way. Planets do not like me. Um, therefore, uh, leaving me no choice but having to leave the planet. Uh, we've got a new guy right there as well. Got them all over the place. Pretty cool. Another guy here. Right, so. Six species left. What do we got? What do we got then? Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, five at the moment. We need another, another fair few animals left uh, to go and get. I'm assuming there's at least one bird on this planet. And maybe a cave animal as well. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. Um, but so far it seems a fairly... I don't know how to put it really. Like a very generic generic planet. Um, you know, for what we're used to really. We see these planets all the time really. Um, got some more nanite clusters there. And out. These, these animals are not nice. Um, really not nice. So let's uh, check some of these things, because of course we need to start looking through these things, because uh, Gek Charm, that's one of the things we need. We need a Gek Charm. So that's good. We can now continue with uh, our quest, but one other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to keep on exploring this planet for a little bit longer, because we need to get some of that Feridium, uh, which is not here at the moment, because we're still looking for it. Need to find this Feridium. Ah, there's some up here. Here we go, Feridium. Okay, this is brand new stuff. Never even held this in my hands before. So I don't know what it is or what it does, but I'm assuming it's useful in some way or another. Ah, that's nickel. Okay, let's grab a little bit of nickel while we're at it. Now, of course, the reason I'm getting all of these materials now, like Feridium, is um, just because we've started doing the, the base missions. Meaning, I'm assuming that they want, like, because, you see, they've got all of these ingredients and stuff. Like Feridium and, and and zinc and copper and thormium-9 and all that. But they don't really have that big of a use. I mean, sure, iron has a massive, massive use. Um, it's just the fact is there isn't much use for anything else, really. Um, so that's why I think it's best, really, if we just keep exploring, picking up random things that we think might be interesting. So that when they do actually turn out to be something that we need... Um, you know, we, we've got it, you know, we're, we're there already, we've done it. Got some more nanite clusters, we've got health. Oh, we've got new animals. Okay, these are the cave animals. 
This is just confirming that cave animals do exist. Got another type over here. These uh, cave animals are not friendly. I mean, they, I'll be honest with you, they aren't usually too friendly anyway. But I mean, these ones are just confirming my point. Okay, that's sorted that. So what have we discovered then? Okay, so two animals down here, which I'm assuming are the ones at the bottom. Okay, so yeah, the, these underground animals are the two bottom ones. So I'm assuming there's either one more and two birds, or, or there's three birds or something. I don't know. It's it's really confusing. It is very confusing. Because every planet it changes. It's slightly different. I'm going to go up this uh, hilltop here and see if we can find some uh, some more birds. Oh, we've got a new one here. I'm assuming this is just a variant. They must have increased the spawn rate in this game because they're spawning a heck of a lot more than they were. It's getting hotter. I don't know what's going on. Can we... We can actually get chrysonite now. Yes. Haven't had any of this stuff in a long time. Last time I had Chris and I properly was like before November, like the 1.1 update. Because they meant like in that, that's when they added the fact that you need to have um, the advanced mining laser. And we've actually got our first bud of Gekgenip. Well, well, well. Let the all time high begin. <laughs> Jeez. We've got a lot of stuff in our inventory now. Oh dear. Now, are there any birds? That's my question. Any birds at all? Doesn't look like it. Maybe they're lower down. Maybe I'm too high. On Gecknip. <laughs> well, I think you know what I've got to do now. Let's take a picture as it is. I don't need to change anything. So, Favidium looks like bananas. Okay. So, we've got pickles. We've got bananas. What else? Have we got one that looks like an apple? Oh, there's a storm. Oh, dear. This is bad. This is bad. My shield is down. Anything but my shield. Let's save quickly. This is bad. Oh, we've got a new animal over there. Oh, I see. There must be storm animals. Right. Okay, then. Sort of makes sense. It's fairly extreme, this temperature right here, I will say. Got a second new animal. Is this a new one? Like a proper new one? Yep. Nine. Okay, we've got two more to go. Come on. No. No, it's just similar species. Come on. I want it to be... I want to see a new animal. Come on. This is planet 101, everyone. 101. Oh, new animal down here. New animal. Looks like a pretty big one. Yeah, look at that. Got a new one. Okay, that's 10 out of 11. 10 out of 11. There's got to be one more. And if I have to think, I'm thinking it's a bird. I mean, it's a low chance, but it could be. It could be. Oh, new animal. Is this the one? Is this the one we're looking for? Come on. No. No, it's not. This always happens to me. Always. Okay, we got a weird galactic trading base right here. Trade terminal. We can buy stuff. We can sell stuff. Is it any other stuff we need? Probably not. No, nope. and I mean I keep looking up just to see if it's a bird, but oh yes, it is a bird. It is a bird. There's one over here. One over here. Come on. I saw it. We're bird hunting now. It is a bird. Where was it? It was over this way. I saw it. You saw it as well. I've got video evidence. So I have proof. It is a bird. It is a bird we're looking for. There. There. There's some up there. There's some up there. Come on. Good to go. Bird. Birds. There they are. We've done it. We've explored. And like, we got it. We did it. Every single animal on the planet. Okay, we're good. Now let's upload it quickly. That was good. That was a good planet. I enjoyed exploring that, you know. I did really enjoy exploring that. So now that we've done that, I think what we're going to do is uh, we're going to head back to our home planet. Because we actually have um, the Gek charm that we need. Um, for our builder, so uh, I'm pretty sure that means we'll be able to do something new. Okay, now that we've finished with the planet, we're going to go to the star system uh, where our base is. Right, so now that we've left the planet, we need to go to the space station, which is right there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our base and give the Gek the Gek charm that we collected. No! Um, excuse that. <laughs> Ignore that. <laughs> Just probably crashed into the space station. <laughs> and we're back in Star Citizen 24. Let's talk to this Gek again who wanted us to give him the Gek Charm. Here you go. One Gek Charm. The blueprint is a tailor made for a farmer. Ah, an agricultural terminal. This is good. This is good. So we can um, put that in. Oh dear. Don't think we have a spare room now, do we? No, we don't have a spare room. Uh, looks like we are going to have to expand out. So uh, let's let's make a uh, 
So one, two, three, and then room. And I mean, to be fair, if I'm doing this, I might as well um, keep going. So one, oh, not enough resources. Damn it. But anyway, let's build in. Anyway, let's place down the agricultural um, terminal, which means we're going to be able to start growing Gecknip soon, which is, uh, as I believe I've said before, basically Gek drugs. Um, oh, we've got decoration. Ah, that's pretty cool. A bed. All right. Cabinet. Potted plants. So we can put these on the walls and stuff. We've got fans. Wall screen. All right. A tech panel. A table. Ooh. We've got to have, like, a proper table. Like, a big table. Like, in the middle of some of these rooms, you know. For design purposes, you know. This is pretty cool. I didn't realise you had all these decoration blocks. Oh, we've got flags and stuff as well. Banners. We've got boxes. We've got these sorts of boxes. We've got... Wow, how did I not know we had all these things? How did I not know? It's a carpet. How did I not know we had all of these? Wow, okay. We've got lights. Didn't know we had these. What cuboid rooms? We've got... What? How, how are we getting all of these? <laughs> I didn't know we had these. Okay then, we have now extended out. We've extended out to this room as well. So I've got this place, which is the ag agricultural terminal, which we actually need to uh, to hire a gig for. Then we've got this spare room here. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just go into uh, into camera mode here and show you roughly what we've got. Oh, really? We, we, we can't like, clip through walls and stuff? That sucks. Can we go through the door? No, we're trapped inside. Okay, well, I'll go outside and now I'll go into camera mode. Right, so this is what we've got. This is what um, we've got at the moment. It's sort of like pretty good so far. And of course our ship is just stuck in the middle of it. Brilliant. Um, but this is my base so far. This is what we got. Um, so what I'm going to do is eventually is I'm going to extend it upward. So the bottom floor is going to be all like technology stuff. And then above that is going to be like, um, like a farm. And I don't know, just hanging out areas. We're going to have like um, a... a a bit on the roof eventually which is going to be a landing pad for our, our ship it's going to be pretty awesome but of course we need to to work on that so as you can see i've added another one inside of here and when i move my ship i'm just going to do exactly the same there so of course we need to move our stupid ship which decided it wanted to land here for some reason come on let's just land here i wonder what's going to happen to our ship when we uh once we built the, the next part like once we built this part right here, it's going to be very interesting. So how I do it is just go through uh, each of these bits and delete these corridors. And then what I'm going to do is uh, once we're in... Uh, this thing's dumb, it sort of chops you off at every corner possible. Right. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a... Uh, that's right, we're going to have a T-junction square going here. And then I believe we just have another one corridor. And then we have the circular room. Which I don't have enough resources for. So I'm just going to get more iron. I mean at least I'm slowly clearing the clutter off of this planet. I find it quite funny though. Because these sentinels are going absolutely livid at me. They're absolutely livid. Why is everything after me? Come on. It's my base. Anyway. So what we do is we place one there. Then we're going to place one here. And then we're going to go back to another T-junction. Which we're going to rotate like that so there we go so basically we've got like rooms going everywhere now there you go so we've done it now so what i'll show you is uh i think in my opinion the most efficient uh way you can uh do these sorts of things they're just looking at me they're not they don't want to know what i'm doing they're just looking at me now so uh i'll just show you quickly this right here is what i've got this is sort of my my layout for my base and what I'm going to be doing is, after I've done this, as I've already said, I'm just going to be stacking stuff on top. Um, and I think from there on, we should be okay. But for now, I think that's that's pretty good. We're done good with this. So I'll just save quickly. Right, now that we've done that, um, let's actually talk to this uh, Gek right here. Um, and just see, you know, what, what he wants us to get next. Mordite crystals, okay. So Mordite, I believe, is what you get from dead animals um, in the game. Uh, it's one of the things you can get from dead animals. So, yeah, should be interesting. So, yes, the next thing we need to get is an agricultural terminal. 
Which, uh, what I'll do is I'll actually go back to the space station and see, that, see if there's one here quickly. No, there are no agricultural guys here. Okay, that's fine. Anyway, uh, this video has been going on long enough. So, if you enjoyed this video, please write a comment, favorite, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video of No Man's Sky, where we explore that last moon that we've got in this star system, which, more than likely, it's going to be empty. So, we're just going to go to the next star system anyway. So, I'll see you guys in the next video of No Man's Sky. Goodbye.